Welcome everybody, my name is Alberto Wanon and I will share with you interesting OGI features. During this session, I will show you and demonstrate some of the exclusive and unique advantages of the optical gas imaging camera, the ICGAS 2.0 by Optia. I will present you the advantages of the spectral filters and long range lens usage. The OGI ICGAS 2.0 camera utilizes a wide spectral range gold filter which allows the detector and detection of VUCs as a default, allowing the change of spectral op optional filters for the uh, detection of higher carbons and CO2. Each spectral filter can be used uh, separately and replaced uh, easily on the camera after detaching the lens from it. I will show first how we can detect uh, alcohol gel gas, which is uh, demonstrating VOC uh, leak uh, from my colleague on his hands. So I will have the camera. Okay, now my colleague is uh, getting some of alcohol gel on his hands and we can focus his hands and see how the gel, which is uh, an example of VOC gas, are coming out from his hands. This is in normal mode. We can go to the enhanced mode where it's even more clear and we can switch to the thermography mode and see the gas coming from his hands. So this is the example where we can use uh, the normal uh, default filter for VOCs. What we are going to do now is we are going to replace the filter uh, to a second one which will uh, be, be able to detect CO2. So what we do first, we take out the lens and replace the filter. This action uh, can be uh, uh, trained to any of the operators. So we have a tool, we have a kit with filters and a tool where we can open the use filter for a new one and this is the way that we can uh, change the spectral band of detection while we are still keeping the uh, uh, existing uh, wide range on the cold filter which is in the detector inside. So with this we can change to A second filter which will be the CO. Sorry, CO2. So uh, in this case, what we are also going to do, we are going to change to uh, long range lens at the same time. So we can detect from a longer uh, position, we can detect. Uh, in, in this case, the uh, exhalation of CO2 from uh, my colleague's mouth. So this is the replacement of the filter. We lock it in. And we use the long range lens to be able to see uh, the image even, even uh, closer. So. As you can see, the camera is still working. We can just change the lens. Of course, of course we keep the camera on our shoulders. Uh, we perform a nook to the camera because we replace the lens. This is only the only thing that we need to do. And whenever it's ready, we are able to uh, just uh, detect the CO2. We can. Uh, Focus. Okay, still we are in a room, so it's very close, and we can see 
some on normal mode, much more on enhanced mode, and uh, the image is uh, it's very close. I, but uh, my colleague is about three meters from me. We can go to the uh, thermography. This is uh, the way that we can uh, go from lens to lens, try to ex exchange the lenses in order to get a more uh, detection from longer, longer distances, and of course, change the filters from, uh, from the camera to be able to detect other, uh, other gases. There is another filter that we can use for higher carbons, and um, so in terms of filters, uh, we have three different options. Uh, the default, that, which is coming with the camera for VOCs, the higher carbons filter, and the CO2 uh, filter for detecting CO2 uh, leaks. Thank you very much for your time. Visit us for more information in icgas.com.